I mean, we can't be together like we normally would be. And so I talked to Miss Sewell, and I just wanted to get on here and take some time to just encourage you guys and bring a word um, for you. And so my mom saw a post on Facebook the other day from a lady that was having a conversation with her daughter. And her daughter was saying, you know, God has allowed us to be at a point in this country where so many of our gods, with a lowercase g, are being taken away. Sports, the arts, entertainment, education, money, travel, church, and even traditions. I'm thinking maybe he wants us to get our eyes on him and be like the early church. In small groups, learning and growing in him. We're blaming big government for this chaos and confusion. Have we ever stopped to think that God, in his wonderful loving kindness, is giving us this opportunity to experience him fresh and new? He is sovereign and he is good. And it's really something to think about while we're in this time, stuck at home, not getting to do what we would normally be doing, to just take some time and get to know God, get to take some time in his word. And I saw in Psalms 46:10 where it says, be still and know. And he could have left it there. He could have stopped, but he didn't. He let us know what he's wanting us to find out. He said, be still and know that I am God. And this gives us the opportunity to get to know God's grace, get to know his mercy, get to know his love, get to know his power. So I want to encourage you during this time to just take a few minutes and get in your Bible, get in God's Word, spend some time in prayer, and just really get to know Him and get close to Him and develop that relationship. I hope that y'all are all doing well, and if you have a thought or a prayer request, feel free to leave it in the comments down below or send it to the CIA Remind. I'll see you next week.